So today we're going to talk about squirrel proof feeders and in this case the feeder made by Audubon model 7511i. It's a heavy metal feeder. It has a stainless steel clip on the back and it's squirrel proof. So on the side here it has three adjustment levels. This is the strongest level and then all the way forward is the lightest. The lightest level is still somewhat stiff, so I don't know what you're trying to keep out of it uh, with the strongest level. It comes with two methods of mounting, and one is this base plate that allows you to put it on a iron T-post. What I did is put it on a T-post and put a PVC pipe around it. This shows the interior. There's a clear piece of plexiglass across the front so you can see the feed level inside. You'll notice that there are open holes on the sides. Some people have complained that bird seed can fall through those holes, but they include tape with it so you can cover those up and I'll show you that in just a minute. It seems to have a really good enamel finish and it's fairly heavy so it shouldn't blow around in the wind too much. And again, you see the spring on the side, it is set to the lightest resistance. Now I find that with it set on the lightest resistance, even larger birds like doves, blue jays, some of the larger woodpeckers, it will close and they don't get to feed uh, from the squirrel proof feeder either. So there is that benefit. You can stiffen up the resistance if you want to allow those birds to feed. And here is the bracket for hanging it from a tree branch, for example. This is the post mount. All the parts that you see here come with it. Screws right to the bottom of the feeder. And here I'm showing the adhesive that comes with it that blocks these holes. The feed that I put in the feeder is black oil sunflower seed, so it does not fall through these holes anyway, but for demonstration purposes, I'm putting the clear tape on it just so that you can see it is provided. Pretty simple design. The capacity is, is nice. Here it is with both the base mount, so you can put it on a post, and the bracket that allows you to hang it from a tree branch. This is the instruction manual that comes with it. Here it is hanging from the tree. I have decided ultimately to leave it out hanging on the tree branch, and I wanted to show you how the squirrels reacted to it. But unfortunately, I got no footage of squirrels being foiled by the feeder. <laughs> They didn't even try. What they do is, if it's a windy day and the birds are kicking out extra seed onto the ground, squirrels and other larger birds just go to the ground and pick those extras up. And here you can see that it's loaded with black oil sunflower seeds. Plus it has the struts dividing the feeding area so that birds can't dish it out side to side. I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Here's the bracket. I have it on an iron T-post and again it has an inch and a half diameter PVC pipe. And this is a female red-breasted grosbeak feeding at it, so she is not heavy enough to close it down. Now, I wanted you to see this because I did set up a night camera. Of course you can see I've taken it down off a tree branch and put it just a couple of feet off the ground on my back porch. And here we have the raccoon. What's interesting watching the raccoons is how quickly they figured out that you don't push down on the actuation lever and they just so carefully reach in and pull the feet out. Of course when it's hanging from a tree branch or up on a post a raccoon can't stand on the ground and eat this way so this is just for my own entertainment. Putting it on the tree, raccoons and other animals were unable to get into it and feed. And of course my squirrels, I thought I should show squirrels because it is a squirrel proof feeder. They're more interested in these black walnuts than anything the feeder had to offer. 
And just as with other animals, they gathered seeds off the ground if the birds had knocked them out of the feeder. Other than that, they showed almost zero interest in the squirrel-proof feeder. So here's a squirrel just so that you can see one. He's burying his nuts in the yard. And here he is on top of a, another design feeder. My original feeders, which are open, of course, squirrels, doves, everything gets in there and cleans out your sunflower seeds right away. And here's a close-up of my winter fox squirrel. And again, he has plenty of resources just in the environment and did not use or overcome the squirrel-proof feeder. Thank you for watching.